Good morning. This is Vani Prabha. Today's topic of discussion is SAR segmentation reassembly. So these terms are related to different aspects of Bluetooth protocol stack and its functionality. What is segmentation reassembly? Segmentation reassembly is a process used in Bluetooth's logical link control and adaptation protocol L2CAP layer. It allows large data packets to be broken down into smaller segments for transmission over the Bluetooth link. Upon receiving the segments, the receiving device reassembles them into the original layer packets. SAR ensures efficient data transmission by accommodating the maximum packet size limitations of the underlying transport layers. Baseband packet size is limited and it can handle a payload of 2745 bits whereas L2CAP layer accepts packet size of up to 64 KB. L2CAP segments large packets into smaller baseband manageable packets. Smaller received baseband packets or reassembled coming back up to the protocol stack. Next our topic of discussion is quality of service. Quality of service refers to the ability of a network to provide different priority levels and service guarantees to different types of traffic. In Bluetooth, QoS mechanisms ensure that critical data such as voice packets in the SEO link receive higher priority and are delivered with minimal delay or even no delay. QS parameters in Bluetooth may include latency requirements, packet loss tolerance and throughput guarantees depending on the application needs. Applications may demand QS on specific parameters Peak bandwidth, latency, delay variation, token rate, token bucket size. L2CAP provides requested quality of service if possible and notifies application if link cannot support demands. Token bucket. It is an algorithm used in packet switched computer networks and telecommunication networks. We also used to check data transmissions in the form of packets, confirm to define limits on bandwidth and burstiness. Also used as a scheduling algorithm to determine the timing of transmission that will comply with the limits set for the bandwidth and burstiness. Protocol multiplexing. Protocol multiplexing, it refers to the capability of a communication system to support multiple higher layer protocols simultaneously over a single lower layer connection. In Bluetooth, L2CAP provides multiplexing capabilities by allowing multiple higher layer protocols to share the same logical link. For example, both audio streaming and data transfer protocols can use the same ACL link for communication with L2CAP ensuring proper multiplexing and demultiplexing of data packets. The applications may access L2CAP through different support protocols, service discovery protocol SDP, RF communication, telephonic control protocol specification TCS. Baseband is not concerned with the operation protocols, meaning L2CAP must distinguish between them. This picture represents the organization of baseband layer, L2CAP layer. So, a um, baseband layer controls or have synchronous connection with ACL, SEO. ACL and SEO are the major links of baseband protocol. And LMP, TCS, RF communication, SDP, audio and voice or totally controlled by the L2CAP layer. Also it supports 
ടി സി പി ഐ പി 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 ആർ എസ് ടു തേർട്ടി ടു എംബുലേഷൻ ടി സി എസ് ബെൻ എസ് ഡി പി എൻ ഒ ബെക്സ് ദിസ് ഇസ് അവർ ക്ലിയർ ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് ബേസ് ബാൻഡ് ആൻഡ് എൽ ടു കെപ്പ് ലെയർ സോ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വി ഡിസ്കസ് ഓൺ ഹൈ ലെയർ പ്രോട്ടോകോൾസ് ഹയർ പ്രോട്ടോകോൾ ലെയേഴ്സ് റെഫർ ടു ദ ലെയേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ബ്ലൂടൂത്ത് പ്രോട്ടോകോൾ സ്റ്റാൻഡ് അബോ ദ ബേസ് ബാൻഡ് ആൻഡ് എൽ എം പി ലെയേഴ്സ് ദീസ് ലെയേഴ്സ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് പ്രോട്ടോകോൾ സച്ച് എസ് എൽ ടു കെപ്പ് ആർ എഫ് കോം എസ് ഡി പി സർവീസ് ഡിസ്കവറി പ്രോട്ടോകോൾ ആൻഡ് അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ സ്പെസിഫിക് പ്രോട്ടോകോൾസ് എ എസ് പി ഈച്ച് ഹൈ ലെയർ പ്രോട്ടോകോൾ ആഡ്സ് അഡീഷണലി ഫംഗ്ഷണാലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് സർവീസസ് ടു ദ ബ്ലൂടൂത്ത് കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ സ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആർ എഫ് കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ പ്രൊവൈഡ്സ് എ സീരിയൽ പോർട്ട് എമുലേഷൻ ലെയർ allowing bluetooth devices to communicate using traditional serial port based protocols while stp facilitates service discovery and configuration so this is the representation of higher protocol layers the operation of higher protocol layers is outside the scope of ieee 802.15.1 standard but included in the bluetooth sig standards the usage of these protocols depends on the specific bluetooth profile equation a large number of bluetooth profiles have been defined with the help of this higher protocol layers this is the layer organization with l2 cap or of communication tcs bin and stp the radio frequency communication protocol rf communication enables the replacement of serial port cables carrying rs232 bus control signals like txt transmitting data receiving data control cts and rts etc with wireless communications or connections several tens of serial ports can be multiplexed into one bluetooth device via this cable rs232 emulation bus next is tcp ip based applications for example information transfer using the wireless application protocol wap can be extended to bluetooth devices by using point to point protocol on top of rf communication here the rf communication is placed over the l2 cap layer whereas the point to point protocol is placed on the top of the rf communication for transfer of wireless application protocol OBEX object exchange protocol is a session level protocol for the exchange of objects this protocol is used for a phone book calendar or messaging synchronization or for file transfer between connected devices this is also placed on rf communication the telephony control specification binary tcs binary protocol defines the call control signaling for the establishment of speech and data calls between bluetooth devices in addition it defines mobility management procedures for handling group of bluetooth devices sdp service discovery protocol is used to access a specific device such as camera or printers and retrieve its capabilities or to access a specific application such as printing job or finding devices that supports this application service discovery protocol in this protocol is uh, helps to identify the accessories or the devices for which the service is being sought so this segmentation reassembly ensures efficient data transmission quality of service mechanisms reorders different types of traffic protocol multiplexing enables multiple protocols to share the same connection and higher protocol layer add additionally functionality and service to the bluetooth communication stack these concepts collectively contribute to the versatility efficiency and reliability of bluetooth communication hope you guys understand thank you for listening